It's a hundred percent pounds as it is. It hurts us. Why would you put this on the ring? Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today I'm joined by comedian Jay Farrow. He's a busy guy, but you can catch him in Legends of Chamberlain Heights, which premieres this week on Comedy Central. Yes, sir. Jay, how are you with yeah, hot food? I'm usually good. I'm usually good with spicy stuff. You know what I mean? Spicy, it's, it's just, it's, it's good going in. It's just coming out is my problem. I don't like That's it. That's always, sitting. there's always a second act yeah. to the play in this one. You ready to get this? Let's, going. Let's get to it. God dang. The first one is Sriracha. Right. Sriracha, you've been around the block a couple times. You yeah, know Sriracha. I know Sriracha. <laughs> it's good. It's good as fuck, though. Yeah, like that's just like a good wing to <laughs> snack on. Good, yeah. Michelle Obama, she's done a ton of skits lately from the stuff that she did with the Miami Heat. She right. did carpool karaoke, and she seems to be genuinely funny when she does these things, or at least have better comic timing than I think you'd see out of a lot of public figures. Yeah. When you think back on the shoot that you did for Go to College, right. what stands out to you? What do you take away from that? Um, <laughs> her like. Her like pointing the camera and doing this and being like south side like swaying her body. Like she did like this, this snake move. And I was like, oh, that's dope. You, you, you gotta watch BET for that. She can actually spit. Yeah? She got bars. If she was like hove, like she laid it. <laughs> one verse? <laughs> she one verse and she just walked out. And she had her own studio joint set up and everything. It was really dope. I was really impressed. When you look at the photos, mm -hmm. do you ever think, you know what, that sweater, it works in the music video, not so much in the Oval Office. I Is there never, part of you yes, that wishes would, you could have worn cooler clothes in the White House? It, it, that's what they, you know what, that's what they instructed me to wear. I would never wear that. Never. That outfit looks like give me a wedgie. That's what it looks like. Like, right. like dip my head in the water and give me a swirly. Like, I'd get my ass whipped if I wore that <laughs> anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? That outfit comes with Pokemon cards. I looked at that guy. He never looks like, he never looks fully Mexican, that dude up there. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> he never does. He looks like, he looks like, a, what's his name? Steve Carell, like with a, <laughs> with a sombrero. I heard you met an ex-girlfriend on MySpace who was not only a <laughs> How stripper. How the hell did you know that shit? Okay, yeah. Not only a stripper, mm -hmm. but also a member of the Bloods gang. She was. Which of those two things do you think played a bigger role in the unraveling of the relationship? Uh, I think it was just the fact that she didn't come out and tell me it from the beginning. You know what I mean? I you had to like, learn these things about her. Yeah, she told me, oh, by the way, I'm in a gang. I was like, what? Like, that's not by the way shit. <laughs> that's some shit that you tell somebody when you first meet them. Man, this is great. That's what I'm talking about, Jay. I'm not supposed to be eating this shit, but it's all good. You can cheat a little bit. Yeah, it's a bit. cheat day. My guess is in every interview that you've ever done, people always want to know about the celebrity hosts on Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. I have 10,000 questions. What I want to do is give you four names from the last couple seasons. I just want to get the first thing that comes to your mind. When you're with that person for a week, what sort of stands out to you, okay? All right, all right. Kanye West. I was talking to Kanye West at the SNL 40th. And then he's talking for like 10 seconds. And after these 10 seconds, he's like, all right, me and Kim are going to go fuck. Goodbye. I was like, wait, like, like here, like now, like, is it gonna happen at the 40th? Like, where's this, where's this footage being? being but maybe and probably, probably operating in a world all of his own. Just, just a weird world of Kanye. Larry David. Oh man, fantastic. I remember Larry David was telling me um, he couldn't believe that he couldn't believe my JB Smooth was the way it was. Really? How do you do JB Smooth like that? That's great. And I was. Just, <laughs> I don't know fool, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know fool. I don't even know what's up fool. I don't know. Ha ha ha. He was like, that's amazing. Tracy Morgan. I gotta know about Tracy Morgan. Yeah. A beautiful, a beautiful soul. His comeback was like really emotional for like everybody. Cause you just saw him having fun again. He was like, I just wanna have fun. That's all I wanna do. I just wanna have fun again. I just wanna get out there and get people pregnant. About yeah. Lady Gaga. Yeah, Lady Gaga. <laughs> hey man, I ain't, I ain't shit. What the, what the hell happened with Lady Gaga? She was great. She was very talented. She's freakishly talented. Fantastic. That was the first time that we did the Kimye sketch. That was the first time we did that. She was playing like a chick from the app store and all this, you know. Yeah. And it was fun. She was great, dude. Like she was, I have nothing negative to say. You ain't gonna mess up my chances not... with collabing with her ass. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. There's a slight picante. 
that meshes with the meshes with the with the corn oil. You're in freakish shape, and we were talking about the gym before the yeah. show even started. Who do you think's in better shape right now, you or Kevin Hart? Oh, I'll kick Kevin's ass. He would say the same thing, I, I think. I, I bet you he would. I'll throw Kevin's ass across the room. No, he's in, he's in, no, no, Kev's my dude. He's in great shape. You know, he's got a six pack. You'd but be playing linebacker body. for the Eagles. Right, but if you took his, the weight, like, don't stretch it. Just take what he's got, put it on me. It'd only be one ab. That's a fair point, I think. That's, that's a good <laughs> That's a great point. Because when he first saw me, that's when I first lost weight. And I was like skinny. He was like, you know, bow. It's great to meet you, bam. Mm. You killed it, funny as hell. Bow, like what you did, bam. Mm. Now get the fuck out of here, bow. I was like, wow, we get the fuck out of here? Why would I get the fuck out of here? I met him again, saw him again. He was like, damn, Jay. Mm. Getting big, um, your chest is huge, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you're too tall, I don't like it, bam. Mm. You're scary, bam. You'll scare somebody. Nobody's gonna laugh at you because they think you're gonna whip their ass, bam. You know, it's a slight mango-ness to it. Um, mm hmm Citrus blend. Yeah, it's a very citrusy blend. Oh, it hit me right there. Oh, I get it. A little okay. heat? All right. Mm, I'm still gonna eat another bite. So, you're one of the great comic impressionists mm -hmm. in the world right now, and you've channeled some of my dream guests in the past. So what I'm hoping is I can just, you know, if you'll humor me, hit you with some, and then maybe you review our hot sauce. Does that sound good? That sounds great. DMX, what do you think of the hot sauce? <clears throat> um, you know, l listen, dog. You, the only fucking thing is this, you know. You know it doesn't really, baby. But you know, I'm just trying to be, I'm just trying to clear my vocal cords because it's a lot of mucus filled up on the cords. <clears throat> I, I, it's delicious, motherfucker. I love these wings. Stephen A. Smith, what do you think of that? Listen, this wing is very delicious. And you know what reminds me? It's exciting. Not like Tim Duncan, who is not excited, who plays the most fundamental game, but he gets the job done. And that's all that's important. These wings could basically have you just watering at the mouth like you're looking at a bad bitch with, 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 with a heavy ass. Yes. I don't know, man. I, I have no idea. Eddie Murphy, what do you think of the wing? Hey, or what man, do you think of the sauce? Is, hey, man, this sauce is amazing, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure out why it ain't hotter than it is, though. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's just, it's just normal to me. You know what I'm saying? I like spicy stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know spicy. I go to, I go to Indian clubs. I know spiciness. Eddie, that's what some people say. You know, they're like, they expect our hot sauce to be like the hottest hot sauce, but we wanted a good tasting, smooth hot sauce. But I think that's a fair. It's a criticism. very smooth. It's a very cool, smooth hot sauce. Now, if you ask Shannon Sharp the same question, he wouldn't yeah, have the same. Say. It tastes like you ever been with a Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going with this one, Shannon? You know, sometimes they will take a habanero and they put it inside of your margarita. And then you wake up and then all your money's gone. But your balls are empty. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a net positive. I think you're in the it's green on that one. What about uh, Will Smith? What do you think of this song? Uh, you know what? Like, yo, like this is crazy. You know what I mean? Like, it's a good sauce. You know, I like it. Um, you know, <laughs> Jaden wouldn't like this. You it know what I'm saying? Nah, it because, you know what I'm saying? His, you know, his, you know, his taste buds ain't up the bar with daddy's, you know? Hold on, Denzel, what happened? Yeah, Denzel. This wing is very delicious, huh? It reminds me, you know, if it gets any hotter, then a tear is gonna come down my face just like it did in glory. Love that because Denzel. I'm gonna do it, huh? <laughs> I love Give that, Denzel. Damn Whoa! Huh? I feel Man like up now. <laughs> Huh? That's what you need to tell everybody who tries to take the milk. Man, the fucker. I feel like I just got yelled at by Denzel Washington. Yeah, you did. Now we're in the back nine. Now we're in the back nine, Jay. All right. Take hey, a little back I, nine listen, I get this, and there's four more, and I'm straight. You're straight. I just, listen, I, okay, maybe, you wanna put some more? Uh, 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 uh. I was, the, well, I was just gonna put it on this one, let it sit a little bit. I wasn't gonna put it on this one. That's idiotic. I'm gonna remember these moments, Jay. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. what Jay-Z is Jay. talking about. Yeah, Jay. Talking this one. Oh, I love Yo, it. Yo, these are, you know, haven't felt this good since, you know, the first time that <laughs> me and Beyonce fornicated. Wow. That's a huge she, moment for our show. Now this one, oh, now this one got a little kick in it. Yeah, <laughs> this is where little, the game changes, ho. It's got a little, <laughs> you know? <laughs> What was it like shooting the Hotline Bling spoof with Donald Trump? Because he's on set and he's wailing out lyrics and he's actually doing dance moves. And I always wondered, was somebody there 
coaching him through all that, or what was that scene like? He asked me every time. Really? He, every time he would do something. Jay, is this fun? You want me to do it again? You like the way that I do this? Do I need to take my hand and put it? I know when that hotline bling, we got it. Fantastic. I can leave. Was it really like it. that? He was yeah. talking to you about it? And I was like, keep doing this shit. <laughs> whatever this, whatever the hell this is. This is three more wings, and I'm sitting here, and I'm taking this one time just for DMX. It wasn't even because of the hotness. It's but just to clear the palate for an impression. I think I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make y'all find something hotter. Whoa. That's right. Bitches. I wanna talk about Drake's week for a second. Cause he's such, he's such a nice guy. He's so nice. But he's Canadian, they're nice. Right, they're good. That's why every time Drake talks and when I hear him rap, I'm like, that's not you. Hey, I take your bitch, bitch. I take your motherfucking bitch. He don't do that shit in real life. In real life, no. Didn't he do the after party at Dave and Buster's? Yes. Was the Dave and Buster's this one over here on Times Square? Because yeah. Complex had an employee yeah. party at Dave and Buster's one time. Yeah. I want to know how they match up. Uh, well, I didn't see him. I didn't see him play no arcade games. He was <laughs> on stage. Uh, he was on stage like, is everybody having a good time? <laughs> everybody was yeah. like, yeah. And then a fucking fight broke out. And then a <laughs> track. <private> party? <laughs> Yo, the SNL party? Yeah, a fight broke out. Cause Drake attracts the ratchets. Right. Like that's what he does. So he's throwing this party. When you have people to, that are not corporate and they in no settings with free alcohol. Bars open. Yeah, that means the tracks are gonna be on the ground. Was it a girl fight or a guy fight? It was a girl fight. It's always I told a girl you, fight with tracks Drake. were on the ground. And a girl want boom, boom, and, and then she'll over. go like this, and a whole joint get ripped out a hit. It was on the ground. It's resting. This moment of silence for the track. Everybody be quiet. Yeah, but she got her ass whipped. Now it's real. Mm-hmm. It's getting realer. So this is a part of that show. Has anybody ever told you? Who are you gonna say I look like? You look like a heterosexual version okay. of Neil Patrick Harris. Love that. That's that's top five. That's top five. You know who you look like to me. Dope. Mike Epps told me I look like Smeagol from Lord of the Rings. The meanest <laughs> hey! shit anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> that's that's funny though. Smeagol's funny. adorable. Funny. That's what he said. He's like he has nice eyes. That's how he's trying to get his way out of it. I was like, well, are you fucking kidding me, dude? He said you look like Smeagol. <laughs> yeah, right to my Smeagol. face. Smeagol. Smeagol. Like. You can do the impression? You're can we do it back do... and forth? Yeah. Okay, That's cool. kind of my thing, right? Ah, precious. Stupid fat Herbertses. He ruins it. He was in the, he was in the shire. The he shire. Like that. Like... The stupid, stupid, stupid fat Herbert that blames small girl and makes 50 laws. We hate you. We hate you. We hate you. Oh, I used... oh, I'm, oh, you I'm a Lord of the Rings, Rings head, dude. I'm, I'm sorry. How's, How's my Smeagol? It's not bad. It's great. It? Thank you. It's, yeah, it's great. Now, I think mine needs work compared to yours, wow. Neil Patrick Harris. Come face. on, come on. It's 100% pains as it is. <laughs> it hurts us. Why would you put this on the ring? You idiots. This can make my bowel movements terrible. And you keep upping the ante. We hate you. We hate you. <laughs> okay, damn. That was great. Uh, there's no, oh. there's no graceful way to segue out of that. No. But okay. This next part of the show is called Explain That Gram. So we Let's do, do a deep dive on your Instagram. Oh, there's some shit. pictures that we think are interesting. We pull them up because we need more context. Does All that right. sound good? Let's do it. This is going great. Jade, are you having fun? Uh, this is fun as shit. I'm having, <laughs> and I'm, we're on the last two, and hey, still haven't tapped out. You and oh, Riri, oh, this is a moment. Uh, we were in London. I, oh, we didn't go to London together. Okay. So this is a happenstance, paths crossing situation? That just happened wow. to happen. We got lost, it was me and two of my homeboys. We were taking this, I was taking this Euro vacation and we ended up getting lost for three hours. We ran into this promoter. We were like, we're from America. He was like, I'm always in America. I'm hanging out with my boy DJ Who Kid. I was like, DJ Who Kid? He goes, um, yeah, DJ Who Kid. And I was like, yeah, you listen to the show? He was like, yeah. And then I was like, yo, do you know Jay Farrell? He was like, yeah, the dude that does all the voices and stuff. I said, yeah. He was like, Oh, shit! So, he invited us to Cirque de Suil. That's the club that that was at, right? Drake and Rihanna are there that night, right? We get to the club, they take us back, full treatment. I see Rihanna, she was like, oh my God, like, what are you doing here? Like, don't you have to, like, record, like, this week? 
Like, aren't you all like recording? And Drake was like, oh my God, dude, like, what are you doing here? Like, this is great. Dude, what are you doing tomorrow? And I'm like, I'm gonna be in England, here. No, no, you're not. You're, you're coming out to the show. I have a show in Manchester. I was like, oh, well, I can't really, I, I got a hotel. No, dude, I'll fly you out. Everything will be good, taken care of. We'll get you a bus, everything. Well, fuck London. Yeah, <laughs> so you take that invitation. Yeah, man. we flew out there. We go to the concert. There's drinks. They give us our own tour bus full of groupies. What? I mean, full of them. No. I mean, you, uh, you know, the selection in, in England, is, uh, you know, some of them. Uh, there's Tough. some bad ones, but you know. This, it was a stock bus? It was a stock bus. It was our own personal Love that movie, bus. Jay. He flew us out there. Rihanna was there. We were all hanging out, turning up. It was one of the best times I had. So this one is Mad Dog 357. It Put used to be. Put some more up there. Okay, listen, I'm gonna just open this and hand it to you. Sure. And I would say to be careful, Jay. D listen. Listen, Jay, I'm let not me, your dad. Let me, let I'm not gonna talk, tell you don't. Let me tell you what type of person I am. All right, tell me. I used to drink hot sauce. What? I used to drink it. Yeah, that sounds weird, but I used to drink it. It was good for like 20 minutes, and then, like you I said, for it. yeah, I definitely did. Oh, that church path. Ooh. Okay. But then look at where you are now. Yeah, I can just do this. That's a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Eyes. I say eyes because it's cold. Eyes. Well, if you're going to dip, I'm going to dip. You're going to do it, too. Oh, that's. You got to dip it in there. That's what you hey, just did. Don't is, be no bitch. Dip that. That's egregious. There we go. You okay. ready? I'm smiling. I think this shit is hilarious. Let's do it. All right. Mm. Oh my God. So, what we just did pretty stupid, but mm. you know it's hot when you stop tasting the sauce. <coughs> <coughs> you're the one who made us do this, so. That's right. And you're living with the consequences like it's nothing. I, I definitely fucking love am. it. Oh yeah, but go ahead. Go ahead. All right, so a lot of your more casual fans might not know the extent of your music catalog. A lot of it's comedic. Some of it's just straight bars. <laughs> and I'm wondering, how do you see yourself? You know, because a lot of comedians do rap or have tried rap, and a lot of rappers, sometimes unintentionally, are like the funniest people on the planet. Right. Where do you fit in? This is what's crazy about rap and comedy. It's very synonymous. Setup, punchline, execution, delivery. I said execution because the spit in my mouth right now is just... Intense. Yeah. It's like the Red Sea. Uh-huh. Cassidy. That's my dude. Yeah. Cassidy. I sent him that Freedom Freestyle I did. You heard of Freedom Freestyle? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I sent that to him. He was like... <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, man. He was like, yo, man, you got bars, boy. Like, don't do that shit to them, man. Like, they don't understand. Like, they ain't used to that bullshit. This is a Cassidy impression with a lot of hot sauce in the <laughs> mouth. Oh, he was saying that I bodied the shit. And that's the dude I used to look up to the most because he's a lyricist. Wow. He's dope. Papoose? Papoose is, I think Papoose is lyrical too. I love Papoose. Papoose, Papoose is like, the great goose. I love Papoose. I'm very exclusive. <laughs> yeah, I love Papoose. I beat up the track to bully your brave. I'm very abusive. Hey. This shit has got caught right here in my chest. It's like, right, listen, I ain't gonna do that dumb shit no more. So, no more. It's funny that you say that. Uh huh. Put some respect on my name. Here we go. So, this is Blair's Mega Death Sauce Let's with Liquid Rage. It's tradition to dab the last wing around here. But we dabbed the one before, so we And that was not just a dab. You just dumped the hot sauce That's on the, your plate. You wanna dab on the shit? Oh. Just fucking dab. You really doing this. Oh. All right. You don't have to if you don't want to. No, I'm no. No, hell, after all of this, I gotta do it. I had a feeling that that's where this was going. Shoot. I have to do this, okay? You're a little, that's a little reckless, Jay. Really? That's a little reckless. So that's a good glob. That's a good, and that's going the extra mile. Hell yeah. Let's cheers because this is a great one. And uh, for the last question, what I'm gonna tell you is this, like, your facial expressions sometimes make me laugh just as much as your impressions. You have a very expressive face, but I'll tell you this about me. I've never lost a staring contest in my entire life. Okay. So what I'm hoping we can do is take a bite out of the wing. First to blink loses. No holds barred. You want to go facials on me? Go like... <laughs> Wait. Wait, excuse me? <laughs> okay, I know what you meant. Wait. But you gotta understand the way that shit sounded. Like when I said it, I knew immediately. You, you wish you could just 
Take that back. Take that so that's, it doesn't end up a vine. That that's just... like the cartoon bubble that you want to like erase. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm gonna do. You wanna stare? Staring contest. All right, ready? You wanna take the bite? And that's the staring contest. Are you ready? Ready. It's all a matter of focus with me. Mm-hmm. Just get the tunnel. I just lost it for a second, but I got it back. I got it right back, mm -hmm. Dre. This would be very hard to do with somebody with that cross eyes. You know what, though? It almost makes you, oh my god. Ah, what? I don't even know how that happened. I didn't feel it coming. Hey, what? Hey, hey. You want to do it again? I'll give you a second chance. Let's do best out of three. If I win, let's do best out of three. Are we taking another bite? I don't know if we have to. Oh, we don't have to, okay. We don't have to. Well, I think we have to. I think we have to. Listen, I'm a... Yeah, no, listen. I can't... My blood type is Satan, nigga. I can't... back down. <laughs> I gotta get on a flight. You better get some bread, huh? All right, I better win this steering contest. You better win. Or this is all for, this is all for naught. Because check this out. This is my one episode. <laughs> like, you gotta do this shit again and again and again. No, Jay, they're gonna need you to host when I go down. All right, cool. I, shit. Nobody's fucking with Jay. Right. <laughs> okay. I mean, the eyes are totally lubricated. I keep saying lubricated. There you go. I believe you just. Fuck! Okay, one more. Yeah. Nothing to you? No. God damn, Jay. Shit, I got an eyelash dangling. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Two out of three, bitch. Bam. Hey. Oh, now get this fucking water. Let's All go. right, Jay. Your first guess to just up the ante and keep up in the ante. Then, you beat me two out of three in a staring <laughs> contest. I'm totally emasculated hey, on my own show. Nothing left to do but just give you the spotlight. The floor is yours. <sighs> check this out. This camera, that camera. Let the people know what you have going on in your life. Make sure you check out Legends. That is coming out September the 13th. Make sure you check that out. Also, my new mixtape that I'm working on. I've got everybody up there. I've got the producer, Biles William. He's going to do it. I've got Music Soul Child on the track. I've worked with Music Soul Child on oh, some of his stuff. Um, whew, let me get some more of this milk. <sighs> okay, also, uh, what else I got going on? Google J. Farrell. Google J. Farrell. <sighs> Jesus. Wow. It just hit me all at once. I think the milk brings it out. Why, why just do it? It just made me do a big impression.